here's a problem for you. Let f be the function from z cross z to q, defined like this, f of x, y equals x squared over 1 plus y squared. Prove that 1 over 9 is not in the image of f. Okay, so let me break this down a little bit. z cross z is the set of pairs of integers, right? That means something like this, x comma y, where x and y are two integers. So the, what this notation means is that f takes a pair of integers as an input and produces a rational number. And let's just check that that makes sense. If I plug in a pair of integers, x and y, well then since x and y are both integers, so is x squared, so is 1 plus y squared. So I have an integer over an in integer. And you can check, well, 1 plus y squared, that's never going to be 0. So I'm not dividing by 0. So I've got a rational number here. This expression definitely defines a rational number. Okay, so the function makes sense. Prove that 1 over 9 is not in the image. So let me remind you a little bit what image means. Okay, well, if I have an arbitrary function from some set x to some set y, and remember, x here is the domain. That's the set of all possible inputs. And y here is the codomain. That's just some set that contains the outputs of f. Okay? Then the image of f, some people use this notation, f of capital X, meaning like you plug in the domain capital X into f. So it's like plugging in the entire set of inputs gives you the entire set of positive or possible outputs. So this is the set, the image of f is the set of possible outputs. So it's the set of y values in the codomain such that y can be achieved or y can be produced by some input x. So that means y equals f of x for some input x in the domain. Okay, some people call this the range. That's another alternate terminology. And another alternate notation, people sometimes call this the m of f, short for image. But okay, that's what the image is. It's the set of all possible values. So what I want to show is that for this function, 1 over 9 is not in the image. It is not in the image. And usually if you want to prove that something is not in an image, proof by contradiction works. Because then I, what I want to show is that 1 over 9, there's no x value that produces 1 over 9. Okay, and to show that something doesn't exist, that there doesn't exist an x, proof by contradiction usually works. Okay, so let's give that a shot. Let's try to prove this solution. Proof by contradiction. And to set it up, I suppose that 1 over 9 is in the image of f. So it's in the image f of the domain, which is z cross z in this case. What that means is by definition of image, it means 1 over 9 is produced by some input. Let's call that input, well, we know f accepts a pair of integers as input. So why don't we call the input f of x, y? The input is x, y. For some pair of integers, x, comma, y. Okay, and I have to use this assumption to derive a contradiction. Well, I know the definition of I know the definition of f, it's x squared plus 1 over y squared, or sorry, x squared plus over 1 plus y squared. So I know 1 over 9 would equal x squared over 1 plus y squared. Okay, and if I clear the denominators here, or just cross multiply, this looks like 1 plus y squared equals a 9x squared. Okay, and all I know is that x and y are integers in this equation. Okay. What I want to do is derive a contradiction, show that an equation like this is impossible. And a nice way to do that is, well, let me bring this y squared over to the other side. And the reason I do that is because I know that there's going to be a difference of squares. So let's write it as 9x squared minus y squared equals 1. And if I factor using a difference of squares, that's the same as saying 3x minus y times 3x plus y equals 1, right? Difference of squares. Okay, 
Now you might look at this and say, okay, if there's a zero here instead of a one, if that was a zero, I could say, okay, therefore three X equals Y or three X equals minus Y, but it's not a zero. So what do I do at this point? Well, one thing that's really nice is I know X and Y are integers. That means three X minus Y is an integer and three X plus Y is an integer. I've got two integers here. And how can you have a product of two integers equal to one? The only possibility is if, well, that means these are factors of one. And the only possible way I can split one into a product of two integers is if I do one equals one times one. The only possibilities are one equals one times one or one equals negative one times negative one. Those are really the only two possibilities. So let's write it like this. The only way this is possible, or maybe I should even elaborate, I should say, since 3x minus y and 3x plus y are integers, the only way this is possible is if, let's say, 3x minus y equals 3x plus y equals 1. So either both factors are 1 or both factors are negative 1. Okay, so two cases. Let's call this case 1 and case 2. Okay, in case 1, I've got two equations. 3x minus y equals 1 and 3x plus y equals 1. And what I want to do is derive a contradiction. Well, why don't I try to solve these two equations by adding them. So add these two equations, and that'll cancel this y out, these y's. And I'm going to get 3x plus 3x is 6x equals 1 plus 1, which is 2. So 6x equals 2, which tells me x equals 1 over 3. And you look at this and say, why is this a contradiction? Well, x was given to be part of a pair of integers. X is an integer itself. So if X is an integer, I just said X equals one over three, that's a contradiction, right? That's impossible. One over three is not an integer. So contradiction because X is supposed to be an integer. So in this case, I got a contradiction. In the second case, I mean, it's basically the same. Um, similar, let's say, except you're going to get x equals, well, if you add these two equations and you had negative 1 on this side, it would be, you would get 3x equals negative 2 instead of 2 here, 6x equals negative 2, and you'd solve and you'd get x equals negative 1 over 3, which, contradict, which um, contradicts our assumption that x is an integer, again. So, in either of my two cases, I concluded a contradiction. I concluded that x was not an integer. So in either case, I've got a contradiction. Which tells me, therefore, 1 over 9 is not in the image of this function. And that's a proof by contradiction. So very frequently... To prove that a number or a pair or some output, some element, is not in the image of a function, very frequently, proof by contradiction is going to do the job.